So in this video, I am going to go over the Google tracking and setting up Google tracking in Google Tag Manager. So first off, let, let's kind of work backwards. Let me show you what it is that we're looking to even do. So part of any website, I'm going to jump over here to twinplumbing.com. And part of any website is you need to make sure that you have your numbers in place. And these numbers need to have the right coding. So it's tell, T-E-L, colon, the number. That way when they click on them, bam, it pops up to call. So in order to be able to track this click and see this click in our events, so if you go over here to Twin Plumbing, right here under their analytics, you will see events, and you'll see, bam, a phone call event. So that is what you're wanting to accomplish by tracking your phone calls. You just want to see what's happening. So the very first thing that you want to do is set up an actual trigger. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through this. Actually, let's open up my phone trigger so you can see what's going on here. So your phone trigger type, you will see you have all types of types, all types of variables here that you can choose from, or I guess I should say triggers. So choose your trigger, and I just put just clicks. I left this blank, check validation, I left that, and then you have your page URL, which is, you need to put matches regex, I think that's how they pronounce it, and then you have to put a period and a star, okay? Asterisk, um, whatever they call that. So you want to put a period, asterisk, and then from there you want to put some clicks, and then you want to put click the URL that contains T E L, and that's why it's important to actually have the T E L colon number on your website. So if anyone clicks this, it's going to trigger an event. Okay. So you want to save that. Once that's saved, you're then going to go over and set up the actual tag. Okay, so here's your tag. You go new tag. Now, I use Google Analytics universal tag. So if you click here, you can see that the universal tag's there. Got it? My, you're going to put track type, and this is going to be an event. This is what you want to be able to see over here in your Google Analytics. Okay? So you have your event. Oops, I'm all over the place. So you have the event and then your category is going to be clicks. Now where are you going to see that? That is going to be right here. You click overview. I'll show you. I'll go back. Event category, clicks. Event action, phone call. Event label, I left blank. Got it? You could put something in there if you'd like, but that is what you're setting up over here on Tag Manager. So you have your category, clicks, action, phone call, label. Now I'm just gonna put the path. So you click over here and I just put the page path. What this tells me over on analytics, if I hit the label backslash, that is just the home page. Okay, if it's another page, it's gonna give me the name of the page. Got it? Okay, non-interaction hit. I'm going to put true here. It is automatically false. If you don't want it to affect your bounce rate, you want to put true. Google Analytics setting here. And then down here, it's going to say, what do you want to trigger this? You set up your phone call trigger before, and you just select that, phone call trigger. And then you press save. So that's it. That's how you're going to set up your... Google phone tracking, so Google Analytics or Google Tag Manager phone tracking. It's not too complicated, but I was a little bit confused because it's hard to see what you're trying to do if you don't use analytics and show you exactly where you're going to see this in analytics. So I was a bit confused, figured I'd shoot one of these for you guys, and good luck. Hope it makes sense. If you like what you're seeing, subscribe or go to our website, get a free proposal, whatever you need. Talk to you later. Bye.